Hello everyone. How is your NEET preparation? I hope you are doing well. To help for your NEET preparation, in this video, I am going to discuss about the overview of physics chapter-wise weightage for the NEET exam 2019. We know that physics carries 25% weightage with 45 questions out of 180. Every NEET aspirant feel that physics is toughest topic when you compare with the other three subjects. To crack NEET, you need to prepare the smart way rather than hard way. That is, special attention should be given to the NEET main important chapters of physics which have high weightage. Mastering the NEET important chapters of physics will definitely give you that much needed extra edge to crack NEET exam. Keeping in this mind, I analyzed the question papers of last 20 years to identify the important chapters in physics for medical entrance examination. For this analysis, I considered previous NEET exam papers and All India Pre-Medical Entrance Test papers. I believe this video will help for your preparation. The analysis of questions asked in the last 20 years given in tabular form. This is the physics portion for me and these are the topics of plus one and these are the topics of plus two. And within this, I also given the number that is how many time question given in the chop in this particular chapter for the last 20 years based on the data. I also calculate the average that is average of questions coming into this particular chapter that is given in the red color. For example, when you take in the physical world and measurement, 19 questions given in the last 20 years, that is the average of the physical world and measurement chapter is one. That is mostly one question is given in the each and every paper. That is the weightage of physics, the weightage of physical world and measurement for NEET exam is one out of 45. Similar analysis is done for each and every chapter and the details are like this. When you take in the kinematics and I divided this kinematics into the motion in one dimensional and 2D and 3D. In case of one dimensional, the average is 1.3 and the average of 2D and 3D is 1.5. Then the, I, the total average of kinematics is around 3. That is mostly 3 questions are given in the kinematics. Loss of motion is 2 and work at energy and power is 2 and motion of system of particles and rigid body is 2.5 and the gravitation is 1.7, properties of bulk matter is around 1.8. So, this chapter 1 to chapter 7 is related to the mechanics. On an average, the mechanics portion will give 13 to 15 marks weightage out of 45. So, that it means that, in case, for example, when we take in the motion of system of particles and rigid body, for particular year, if he is given two questions here and then gravitation goes to the another two. Similarly, on an average from the chapter 1 to chapter 7, the weightage is 13 to 15 marks out of 45. And coming to the heat and thermodynamics and behavior of perfect gas and kinetic theory, the questions are around 4 and oscillations and waves is around 3.5 and coming to the plus 2 portion, Electrostatics, it is dealing about the static charges and uh, the information related to the static charges. The questions coming around three questions per e each and every year. And the current electricity is around 2.65 and thermal and chemical effects of current is around 1. And magnetic effects of current is 1.75. Magnetism and electromagnetic induction is 2. Alternating current and electromagnetic waves is 2.2 and optics and optical instrumentation. In this optic and optical in instrumentation related to the both the ray optics and physical optics. So that is around 3.25. Dual nature of matter and radiation. It includes the photoelectric effect and de Broglie materials, etc. That, that weightage is around 2.2 for 45. 
45 and atomic physics is 1 and nuclear physics is 2.65 and semiconductors devices are around 3.7 again the total chapters are divided into support subparts because uh, here i mentioned the ratios like 1.3 1.5 etc that it means that on an average in this in that particular topic the questions will come either uh, like a 13 to 15 in case of mechanics similar analysis is done for the each and every part coming to the part wise like the total physics chapter has divided into different categories like mechanics optics and modern physics electricity and magnetism and heat and thermodynamics and shm and waves coming to the mechanics portion the questions are the chapters included in the mechanics is this one and the mechanics portion like a 13 to 15 that minimum questions are 13 and maximum is 15 so the weightage is mechanics is more compared to the all other parts when you come to the optics point of view ray optics and wave optics the questions are minimum is four and maximum is five coming to the modern physics the here the total four chapters are included in the modern physics that is dual nature of radiation atomic physics and nuclear physics and semiconductor most mostly in modern physics part theoretical conceptual based questions will be given and uh, with addition of that, uh, photoelectric effect related numerical uh, numericals also giving. There is one of the most easiest part when you compare with the all other. That means so each and every need uh, uh, preparing student should prepare modern physics initially. So coming to the electricity and magnetism, it is vast and it included more uh, several parts. And the mostly the questions are given in, in the range like 10 to 12. That is minimum is 10 and maximum is 12. And heat and thermodynamics, here it includes thermal properties, thermodynamic kinetic theory of gases like, uh, like the first law and second law of, the, of thermodynamics and zeroth law and specific heat of gas, specific heat like a, uh, and uh, entropy is also included in this portion. That is the minimum questions are four and maximum is five. And in case like a kinetic theory of gases point of view, it gives like RMS velocity, etc., etc. And in case of SHM and waves, it includes the oscillation and waves that are related to the superposition of waves, reflection of waves, standing waves, etc. All these are comes to the SHM waves and even SHM and waves. And uh, this portion uh, is given the uh, weightage is like a 4 to 5 portion. That is ma ma minimum is 4 and maximum is 5. Coming to the another important chapters in the mechanics portion. Uh, these are the important chapters in the mechanics that is dimensions and error analysis and vectors are related to the one of the most important uh, in mechanics almost one questions are given in every case like it may be dimensional analysis or vector related like a dot b or a cross b or cross product or the dot product or whatever it is uh, it may come one question from the mechanics and second one is the equations of motion like v plus u plus a d or all other equations are uh, within that equations, one question may come in the mechanics part of point. Relative motion, projectile and circular, projectile motion and circular motion is one of the most important topic in projectile and circular motion. And uh, another is collision, that is almost one question is giving in the collision part, like a elastic, semi-elastic and uh, inelastic collision point of view. Potential energy, that is work power energy chapter point of view, potential energy of the thing is one of the most important part, don't miss that part. And kinetic energy of the body, if it is falling down or going up, that is also a crucial step. And when you come to the moment of inertia, dynamics and rotational motion, this is one of the most uh, important uh, exam, uh, for exam point of view, rotational motion, that is moment of inertia. So almost we are expecting two portions every year, that is, don't miss this portion in case you are to rotate my portion. Next, Kepler's law and escape and orbital velocity geostationary satellite. And in case of Kepler's law point of view, second law and third law is most important, like a law of conservation of angular momentum and t square is proportional to r cube is one of the most important topics in Kepler's law. And then acceleration due to gravity, how the gravity is changes with respect to the height and with respect to the depth, and uh, what are the gravitation changes with respect to the planet is also important. Center of mass of a particular body and then beads and Doppler effect and it is mostly related to the waves like a sound but here in case of mechanics point of view also we are taking this beads and Doppler effect uh, what is meant by red shift and blue shift is also important in case of uh, Doppler effect and coming to the another portion like a Pascal law and Bernoulli theorem 
and viscosity and the Reynolds number is also important uh, in mechanics portion. Don't miss these um, topics if you are reading mechanics and uh, a similar analysis is done for all other parts but that I included in the part two with the addition of that each and every part of, of each and every chapter of, on what that means on what formula based mostly he is asking the question that also included in the part two thank you for watching uh, and uh, if you like this video please subscribe the channel uh, Hyderabad, and please comment on this video based on your comments i will prepare the next videos and thank you for watching and thank you once again we'll meet in part two